So this will give a additional adhesion when I put epoxy on to glue the deck on. And this will be this will be covered too and it will create a beam in the center of the boat. So this is a little this is actually the second try you only saw the saw me do one time but I, I tried twice. Yeah, you need a pretty good fit. Probably can't get it up. <laughs> Oops, can't believe I said that on camera. Oh. So put a little bit of epoxy on there and uh, it will be good to go. You might want to use gloves. side and since this boat is absolutely perfect I probably could use the same dimensions right we will find out I doubt it it's a press fit we're after I'm gonna measure here too we had two inches here it's not too shabby it's two tenths of a millimeter off which is an inches seven thousand I consider that a success. And this edge here. And nine point seven.
would like to say there's many ways to skin a cat and this is just one way of doing it and I find it easy to make you can use basic tools as you can see I have some uh, reciprocating saw and but I'm, I'm here in front of the camera doing this with pretty basic tools in my very small workshop hobby room. speed this up. Oh, okay. Put a little bit of epoxy on there. These bolts are fairly heavy, so I find that you need to to take pretty good precaution. You, you need to build them strong because the uh, the loads you have a forty pound keel. installed. And a little bit of epoxy will erase my poor woodworking skills. I'm testing out something new here. I've taken a piece of a uh, deck material 
made a little paper pat uh, pattern, and then I cut a uh, a slot in it. It's got fiberglass on both sides. Cut a slot in it, and it gives me a nice surface for the epoxy. And I'll I'll put two holes and two screws here, like I did for these. And then <clears throat> this will fit underneath here. So I will have both adhesion down at the bottom and then and then this um, stainless steel will be so I thought that was kind of an I mean there's many ways to skin a cat, but this is one way of doing it. And this will be I will put holes in this. I have a little tool for that. I love this tool. I'm not sponsored in any, in any way, but this is uh, for model making. This is awesome. It's got cantilever, and you can punch holes up to forty thousandths of an inch in stainless steel, or maybe even more. But it's it's really a good tool. So I can recommend you getting. I I think I bought this on eBay, and I'm not sponsored by eBay. So. This is after punching holes with that hole puncher. And this is just made, you know, holding the piece. So it's no expensive machines or anything. It, it'd be good enough for me. perfect this is what we have we have four stay and the reinforcement that will be glued in with epoxy this will be epoxied plus it will have two bolts or two little screws with nuts holding it so it's getting there 